Hey folks, how we doing? So I want to show you a new flipper I made, small flipper. I really like this one. Uh, you can see why probably because it has that beautiful marble carbon fiber. Marble is a new new carbon fiber Nate offers. You know the guy Nate I mentioned I think was right before the blade show. Goes carbon fiber and it is really cool. Uh, I don't think he has a lot of it and uh, he sent me first two pieces because he wanted to see if it's good you know before he starts selling it and uh, I sign up for it I, I did the one scale just on my knife real quick right before the show I don't think you even seen it and uh, now I did the first one for you know brand new whole knife and uh, I really like it really really dig it on mine I did the regular polish on this one I tried something else and I like this even better I mean you can clearly see the beautiful pattern in it but if you if the camera focuses you can see that kind of like a rougher texture to it and what it is is I didn't want to do heavy sand, uh, sand glass like I do on the other carbon fiber just because you know the nature of this is you have small little shreds you know put together by epoxy so I didn't want to start ri risk uh, starting you know peeling of the little layers on the corners and around the holes so it was from the distance light sand blast and then I buffed it a little bit so I kind of bring bring back a little bit of that sh uh, glitterness of it you know the shine of the carbon you wanna you wouldn't probably really even know that it was buffed but it was buffed and uh, I love how it looks so another thing from the show you see that nice decorative uh, big screw titanium screw from Steve Kelly I love his hardware it's just such a good quality screws I mean they are expensive I mean just think about it every single one of these screws the little guys are like I think dollar 25 something like that a piece more dollar 40 dollar 40 a piece so it is expensive I mean, you know you don't have to scab you have I think nine nine screws all together you know including these these are even more the big decorative ones but they are just so cool and uh, I personally love you know say all, all you want I love the big small screws even on here I don't care about the big pivot small pivot custom pivot it's fun for me to do it sometimes but you know to each his own so small pivot small f uh, flipper you have the matching marble pocket clip and you have what's pretty cool about this one I don't smooth fires like a rocket good detent you have that floating suspended backspacer and they grab something white so you can see it a little better there you go it's like a corkscrew floating backspacer I'm really happy about that one it was kind of funny for some reason it was leaning more that way so it was kind of tricky to get it like perfectly centered because I went it all the way through like you know even here so I, I guess that kind of shifted it a little bit but on the end it worked out really nice I like it you see this I like when you see the space even between the screws and since my screws are so tight it, it was kind of risk that it, it could shift one way but in the end it worked out good I did kind of similar that corkscrew pattern on the inside this actually was originally all the way here it was really long screw but because it was so thin uh, what was it when I was buffing it, it it caught in the buffer it actually broke a uh, broke piece of it in the you know the buffing machine when I was cleaning it so that kind of made me mad but I I'm pretty happy about this one another nice thing about this one is that the grind siding grind on this is just perfect really really perfect very clean very even that really tall switch the one it has that kind of like a stub nose and if you look at it, what I like about the stub nose or snub nose or whatever you would call it, it creates that really beautiful diamond tip on the front, you know, kind of reinforced. So it's slightly reinforced tip, nice and lean grind here, like I do, you know, around 10 thousands. But you end up with a slightly thicker tip with still good angles on the, on the apex, on the secondary, that is going to cut well, it's not just prying tip, it's still going to be good cutting tip. And you can see that it goes all the way from here, just nice all the way to the tip. I'll really need this one if you uh, camera probably won't focus here, but it's like perfect, perfectly uniform. So getting a little better at that. Titanium I just left. I wanted this to be kind of clean, like a black and gray. So I just left it gray stone wash, and I did the the 
titanium screws hardware blue just to kind of do the little accent of something else a little bit of car work on the flipper but only on the front and back and the flats are just nice flats like everything else pretty happy about this one perfectly centered fires like a rocket so this one this one came out cool and next thing I want to show you is so I have this my older blades from the previous like the first version of the large flipper which they slightly changed slightly like the new ones the, the stopping rest here is further back and this is further back also so I kind of try to avoid that gap on the in the close position here on the large flipper had a little gap here it still has slight but not not as much as it was before which actually is very common if you really study knives other people knives a lot of knives without the internal stopping where they have regular stopping like this a lot of knives show that you know even you know big beautiful like big 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 time makers with beautiful knives like Rexford I love Rexford uh, I think it's not epicenter is it epicenter one of that like his flagship just that beautiful beautiful knife if you notice even that one has it it's very common it's not like a flaw it's just that's what it is it's in it's the nature of making knife certain way uh, so different ways of different outcomes and I, it's not a flaw but I kind of I kind of agree that if, you, if I, I try to avoid it because it makes it look cleaner when you when it kind of flows in close when the gap isn't there when it's like this I like it so so that meant that I couldn't use this you know my old blades and I think I had what 10 of them here something like that uh, which actually plus some of them even if I cut lock faces, they were for some reason something moved and they, I just couldn't use it, you know, period. <laughs> and there's no need to explain more. So what I had, I had the idea of doing a little necker's. So check that out. Little necker made from the, you know, they, they were already heated and everything. So a little bit of shaping, reshaping and boom. Little necker, little one of neckers are going to be born. And I went with the, the kind of team what I've been doing on the folders recently the little bit of thumb ram here and the nice switch I can develop the system where I can make it pretty cool looking pretty nice and even on those switches it's still nerve rocking because it takes very little to go very wrong pretty much ruin the whole tip and everything but uh, I'm getting this on edit so this one is and I did a little bit of just pattern because I wasn't gonna do the handle on these just wanna make them kinda nice small little neck knives but so I did a little bit of crater in there some of them might have rock I'll see probably gonna have a little bit of fun with this maybe tomorrow but I do wanted to show you that that you can use scraps all different ways and pretty happy about that about the outcome <laughs> made a hole bigger oh this one was fun uh, one I, I did today I wanted to do a hole that's 3 8 I think 3 8 or 5 16 oh never again I think it was 3 8 it's hard even for carbide bits to <laughs> drill through this hardened ABL. It took me a while to get through and uh, it's definitely not fun, definitely not what I want to do, so probably just a quarter inch hole. I mean it's plenty just for the little linear hole. Linear hole. So that's it guys, just wanted to show you this mainly. Pretty happy about this, it's ni really nice and lightweight, nice and smooth. Pretty cool pocket clip and just nice knife and uh, it is gonna go to gear bastion. Most likely it's gonna be gone by the time this video will upload because internet speeds here suck. So, you know, pretty much I put this on upload and start list, start putting the listing together and put it there. So, you know, it is probably gone when you're watching this. But guys, thank you for the support. By the way, a lot of people ask, you know, you can always just hit that subscribe thingy on the in the shop and you get the instant email notifications. You know, that's if you really, you know, want something, you get the email every time I list something. And you can always just unsubscribe if you want. So, you know, a lot of people are wondering, you know, they didn't even see it because by the time they watch the video, it's already gone. And it is because, you know, there are people who have those, that subscription turned on. And that's, uh, you know, the best way how to how to keep an eye on if you, if you want to get something, you know, stuff that goes quick, the best way to kind of help, help yourself to, you know, score it. Also, you know, keep an eye on Instagram. Very often when I list something, I put the post there, I put a picture there and it's yep, available right now. So, you know, that's also a big, hit, uh, big help. So guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. Take care, stay safe and remember, don't cut yourself.